Hi, I'm Mark from Max Mobility, and today I'm going to show you how to get the most out of your smart drive. Let's get rolling. The smart drive is so lightweight, you'll hardly know it's there. The Omni Wheel glides sideways on the ground, allowing you to turn effortlessly. To get going, just touch the button on the Bluetooth wristband, give it a push, and cruise. If you have limited hand function, you can use your wrist to turn it off and on. The smart drive works like a cruise control. You set the speed with the speed of your push. Push slow to go slow, push fast to go faster. To stop the motor, just tap your hand and you'll coast to a stop. If you need to stop quicker, just brake on the push rims as usual. To turn, just brake on one side or the other. It's just like you're turning while coasting downhill. The Smart Drive Omni Wheel floats sideways on the ground, making turning easy. So if it's too difficult to turn while the Smart Drive is on, simply tap and then turn without the motor on and then give it a push to get going again. The Bluetooth wristband works like a Fitbit in that it monitors the motion of your wrist. It's looking for a tapping motion or a quick change in speed. You tap against the push rim because your hands are already there for steering and braking. Notice the light turns red when a tap is successful. So here's an example of an unsuccessful tap. Notice that the wrist isn't really moving much. So make sure that the wristband moves to get a successful tap. If you're already braking on the push rim, you can tap without letting go. Just flick your wrist to shut off the motor. In an emergency, you can tap the push rim and brake at the same time by hitting the push rim harder when you brake. If you pump push, you likely tap it off with every push. So just make sure your last push is strong so it'll keep going. So now you know all you need to know to get the most out of your smart drive. So have fun. Be careful, and from all of us at Max Mobility, thanks for choosing Smart Drive.